Oh, hi, neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better today. Sorry, I haven't come out since yesterday. I, uh, I was just a little freaked out at everything that just happened. I mean, finding out you're my soulmate is one thing, but just... I felt a little freaked out with what happened and all. Oh, yes, of course, I did say we would talk. Um, why don't you come on in then? So, what do you want to know? I'm willing to be quite open with you. Oh, you... <laughs> You're surprised at my demeanor. You thought I'd be like... <laughs> you thought I'd be like a Dracula. <laughs> no, honey. <laughs> that story is one that makes me laugh every time. What do I mean? Well, if you know the history of Dracula, you'd know that he was actually human. Oh, yes, it's quite a famous story. Vlad Dracula Tepes, or also known as Vlad the Impaler, or Dracula himself, was actually a famous leader in, I think it was Romania. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I read the history. But he's most famous for impaling his enemies on giant wooden spikes and letting the blood drain off their wall. As a warning to any intruding neighbors in his kingdom that he wasn't afraid to show his strength in battle. It's such a famous story and it's kind of been one of my favorites since I was a little boy. <laughs> Sorry, history lessons are one of my favorite things to learn, especially with vampire histories. Because they're just interesting in that way. You're wondering if I was turned? What do you mean by that? Oh, you mean if a vampire bit me? No. Sadly, I was born to human parents, and so... Well, I was born vampire. It was, I'm going to say, a supernatural event that caused me to turn into a vampire. Of course, I have no idea how or why it happened, but that's just the way it went. Of course, back then I would hurt the living creatures, but I stopped doing that after I turned 10. I didn't want to hurt anyone anymore, so... I started just siphoning red off of objects. It seemed to at least suppress the bloodlust that a lot of vampires get. Do the others know I'm a vampire? That's, um... That's a mixture of yes and no. See, I've manipulated to them, to their memories, that they have no idea that I'm a vampire. Oh, yes, yes, I do have that ability. Hypnosis of the mind is something vampires do have. And why didn't I do it to you? Well, seeing as I found out you're my soulmate, and the fact that you didn't freak out as bad as the others have, why would I? I mean, it would seem rather bad if my soulmate didn't know that I was a vampire. Well, don't you agree? I thought so. <laughs> Would you become a va a vampire if I bit you? No, honey. That's another myth as well. I mean, unless I drained your whole body of blood, then it might, but I wouldn't do that for the life of me. What if I was given permission? Well, that's one thing. If I was given permission to feed off of somebody, but I wouldn't dare ask. I can manage with siphoning off red from apples. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> I guess that's true. You know, though, it is scary to think about it. Well, for a, a human standard, vampires are seen as those who suck the life out of them. And even with a world full of good men, they're, even if there's monsters in it, I've seen plenty of humans who can make it even worse. Vampires, at the very least, were like, well, history. 
we don't really show violence as much as most people think, but humans I've seen do a lot of violent things. Oh, sorry. I, can't, I guess I did go gloomy there. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, my darling. <laughs> um, neighbor, I was curious about something. If you would like to come over for dinner. Uh, not like that. I'm not asking for your blood. I'm saying like a normal meal, just us two. I could cook for you. Yes, I know how to cook, and yes, I can eat human food. I just usually have to siphon off the red to make sure that, well, I don't have any issues with the bloodlust. Because that can happen. Yes, of course. Oh, you what? Oh, that's wonderful. Well, how about you come over, say, midnight tonight in my coffin? <laughs> I joke. I sleep in a normal bed, and I joke about that time, too. <laughs> Why don't you come over around 6.30? I'll be making pumpkin Alfredo spaghetti sauce. Well, not spaghetti, but fettuccine. Oh, yes, I know Alfredo has garlic in it. Don't tell me. And I've already told you that garlic doesn't hurt me. All right. Sounds good, neighbor. I'll see you later, all right? Okay. Bye. I could hear their heartbeat racing that entire time. I wonder why. I don't think they've fallen for me already, have they? <laughs> Not that I'm opposed to that idea. They are my soulmate, after all. Hmm. Should I go for it, though? I guess I'll give it a try. <laughs> Alright, let's get started making that sauce. <laughs> 